Can you guys believe this music? Oh my god. I absolutely love the music for Halo Infinite. Guys, we're playing some PvP tonight. It's live right now. It's the 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. session. So I'd figure I'd jump in, play some games with you guys, and just kind of talk about my experience with Halo Infinite so far. What we played last night, we streamed it a bunch on my Twitch channel. And so I figured we'd just jump in, play some games, and experience it together. Dude, look at that concept art. Actually, I don't think this is actually, this is actually part of the map of Halo Infinite's campaign. I saw on Twitter that we're talking about this. Some of the people actually worked on the game. We're talking about it on Twitter, so I thought it was pretty cool. Here we are, we're playing on Recharge, guys. This probably might be my favorite map that we have within the entirety of the flight so far. Just play Super World. This map, you gotta grab the battle rifle. You don't grab the battle rifle, you're gonna be having some problems. I'm gonna go just check this see if it's in the typical br spawn location over here to the right it is and my teammate grabs it well pain there we go got our first kill i love these different spawners right here where the guy just grab it right off the rack and you're able to start shooting right away it's super nice it's not i can just go like okay well i know that weapon here popping up here in like a couple seconds i'll just hang out here for a minute and uh get some nice advantageous gameplay goodness for me oh no teammate he's got a hammer and run no! Oh, Yeah, how are you guys enjoying the flight so far? Are you guys loving this flight? Are you kind of ishy with it? You know, let me know in the comment section. You know, I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And, uh, guys, people have asked me, like, what my favorite weapon has been with this flight. So far, I just love shooting the sidekick, man. The sidekick is just a ton of fun to shoot, and it's great when you actually can get kills. It's way more fun that way, too. I also feel like the sidekick AR combo for social is probably, like, the most balanced starting setup we've ever had in a halo game to be honest we pick up ooh, got the grapple shot dude i absolutely love this equipment now the reason why i feel like it's like the most balanced is because you know there's good starting weapons but you can also get better weapons from off the off the walls off the racks and stuff like that it's super important where you can start utilizing the sandbox a little more because previously like in halo games like let's be honest a lot of times you just kind of grab the battle rifle and you're like, okay, I'm good. <laughs> I'm gonna get the grapple shot. Oh, dang. Well, obviously, if you grab the battle rifle in this game, though, uh, it's very advantageous. Like, it's kind of like my main focus whenever I spawn. I go, okay, where's the battle rifle? Because it's such a good weapon in this game. Oh, surprise. Surprise. Oh. I'm gonna get another kill. All right. Get here off the rack. Pick up that battle rifle. Start shooting people right away. It's a beautiful thing. Also, how do you guys feel about like being able to recharge your shields while sprinting? I'm still kind of iffy on that whole thing. Cause that's one thing I really liked about Halo 5 Sprint is that it didn't allow you to recharge your shield. So then people just couldn't run away. Though there is a much bigger disadvantage now for sprinting in this game. Oh my God. Uh, mainly just because the sprinting speed is not as fast as like a Halo 5's was. It's not that advantageous to sprint in this game, especially on a map like Recharge. There we go. I think I completed a challenge now with that, uh, with that kill with this all right. Oh my gosh, everyone's over here. Because the uh, walking speed in this game has definitely been increased, where it just feels a lot better. Like I'm, I can walk right here just fine, and I feel like the you don't have to like sprint around the entire map to kind of get around, kind of like how you did in Halo 5. Ooh, God, I love getting perfects with this gun, dude. Dude, it's so good. Oh, the grapple shot's up. I want it. I don't care if I die for it. I need it. Oh, God, the grenades are coming in. Oh, my God, he just annihilated himself. What a champion. Uh, but kind of back on topic, I was talking about like how the AR and Magnum are kind of like the most balanced, I think, starting weapons we've ever had for a social match is because they're good weapons by themselves and you can definitely keep up with other people in the lobby. Though, it's definitely much more advantageous to pick up new weapons off the map as well, like the battle rifle. I mean, it really just kind of gives the sandbox more viability, where like every weapon you pick up is going to be... give you some advantage beyond just like... Ooh, that guy had some sweet shots with that sidekick. Uh, but it gives you like some more advantages and disadvantages depending on what you start for. Like the AR pistol is kind of like a good like middle ground of everything in the game where if you pick up like a needler, it does some different at gameplay aspects. If you pick up the battle rifle, it's much different than previous Halo games as well, where the battle rifle is much more tailored to like mid long range than like being like the meta gun that everyone uses at all times kind of thing. Like we're typically like we've seen traditionally in Halo. Oh my God, it's 46, 49. Can we bring this back? I gotta be super cautious with, no, no, I'm like, give me the final kill. Oh, the pain. Oh my gosh. 
Lost by three. There's some XP gains right here. Yeah, we did complete our assault rifle kill challenges. So we got 200 XP there for the weekly challenge, 100 XP for another daily challenge for completing games and stuff. Uh, it seemed like the daily challenges, we can take a look at this real quick here. So you can see with the daily challenges here, that's up to two games now and you get XP for it. Uh, essentially, I think I've probably played like five or six games or something like that and now it's gone up to two games. So I guess it's the kind of way to kind of diminish the people who are like really grinding out the game to try to get advantage on the battle pass here. We have some weekly challenges like complete a stronghold match that's coming in later in this week. I uh, also kill an enemy Spartan by sticking him with a, I guess I'm going to sticky grenade. That's going to be a little tricky to pull off right there for sure. And also kill enemy Spartan attacking a friendly zone. Again, that sounds like another kind of strongholds kind of thing. And also look at the state for the weekly like ultimate challenge kind of thing or the extra challenge is return f 10 flags, dude. Like that's kind of a lot to be honest. Uh, but of course, and also we don't have a chance to play capture the flag right now. Um, I'm assuming maybe like with, with quick play that most likely will be like at launch. It will make it a, a little bit easier to do these kind of challenges. But right now we have a very limited just like Team Slayer social arena. There we go. Live fire. I've, you know, a lot of these maps, honestly, in the game, I'm kind of for them. Like I actually like a lot of these maps in the game. There's nothing really so far that's really stood out that's like, oh, I really don't like this map. So I'm looking forward to see how what more comes in with the, the release of Halo Infinite. So let's uh, start this match off here. Usually I like to go for the battle rifle because, well, battle rifle is so good in this game. And it looks like on this side, it looks like we got the uh, commando on this side. So this means that the battle rifle spawns over on that side. I'm like, oh my gosh, these guys are bots, dude. They're just running straight over this side, just like the bot lobbies. Nice little double to start out. I'm not, I'm not ashamed to kill AFK guys. I'll do it. Look at that battle rifle, dude. Oh, it sounds so good. It shoots so well. Like it's. This might be like one of the best bio rifles, if not the best bio rifle ever to be made in a Halo game, dude. It's so good. I did see a lot of people freaking out during the last flight, saying that the flight or the sidekick and also the assault rifle have a quicker time to kill, actually, than the battle rifle in Halo. Oh my gosh, where do you guys come from? I think the main reason why that is the case is because, well, you know, these weapons like the assault rifle and the sidekick are definitely tuned to be much more close range stuff for the assault for the battle rifle, especially in this game. It's much more tuned to be a mid-long range kind of weapon with a slower rate of fire, but with higher aim assist, better bullet magnetism, and just way easier to use than uh, the sidekick and the assault rifle. That, uh, you know, I think it's just kind of like a nice balance between the two right there, where I think it could be a... Uh, you know, pretty fair balance where it's like not just battle rifle all the time, all the time, every day kind of thing, like how it's been previously in Halo games. But you got this commando here, man. This commando is a beastly of a gun. But the battle rifle is still like an awesome gun, and you're definitely going to want to pick it up whenever you have a chance to pick it up because it's such a good gun. There we go. God, this battle rifle feels so good. Oh my god, I'm getting overran over here. Gotta, let's go switch positions. They know I'm here. I don't like it. Oh, but he has the heat wave though. Let's grab a needler here. They did change up the needler sound, which sounds much more needler like in this game. Holy crap, dude. I just spawned. Oh my god. Let me live. Oh, I got the repulsor on him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Let's get what are we doing? What are we doing here? No. Oh, dude. He did the double melee on me. Oh, he BXR'd me so bad. Yeah, if you guys don't know, I brought this up in a previous video, but you know, I think I got messed, buried within the sub box where you can do a double melee right here, where you can do this kind of melee trick where if you shot your weapon, you can do like a crazy melee speed like this. And it's just insane, dude. Like, look at that. <laughs> what? That shit not, oh, you know, 343 does know about this bug. We'll try it again here. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, why do I need guns, dude? I'll just melee everything. Let's try to hide in the corner so we can get double melee on this guy right here. Here he comes. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, so please don't break the game, everybody. Well, I guess now, yeah, well, please do break the game. That's the point. That's the reason why we fight right here, man. Just to make sure we find stuff like this, get it patched. And so then, it's uh, not broken at release. There's some more XP gains right here. Do we actually gain anything? Uh, just a daily of like game, playing one more match. So we didn't actually didn't gain any progress on our battle pass there, but play one more game. We'll make some progress on our battle pass here, which we have actually made some pretty good progress already. And we're up to level, what, 15 right now in the battle pass? Almost to 16 now after this, we play one more game. But yeah, let me know if you guys like these kind of videos. Want to see some more like it? Make sure you tap that like button and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.
Peace out.